Oh, hi. Welcome to Chefing TV Presents Big Meals from Tiny Spaces. I'm your host, Glenn D. Nicola, and I'm going to be making a bunch of great stuff for you, so stay tuned. Today, we're going to be making stuffed hamburgers. And much like the stuffed pretzels that I did, you can use a variety of ingredients. Today, we're going to use bacon and cheddar cheese. And it's going to be inside two patties, and I'll show you how it's done, and then we're going to grill them. All right, and these are the ingredients for the stuffed burgers. You're going to need hamburger, bacon, tomatoes, onions, cheese, and lettuce. And the lettuce is in the uh, refrigerator. Now we're going to slice the tomato. And uh, be very careful when you core this out. I'm going to take out that, that middle part. It's of no use. Take out the end. And then you just want to slice nice and thin. Alrighty, and then you just spread them out. And there you go. Sliced tomatoes. And now we're going to cut an onion. First you start, cut off the ends. off to the side, peel off that first layer, that membrane, all right, and you just cut in half, and again, basically like the tomato, and I like red onion because it gives a sweeter taste. Cut them a little thicker than you would the tomatoes. Make sure people have lots of bad breath. <laughs> so now we're going to put together the hamburger. And an uh, uh, ingredient I didn't mention in before, but it's my secret ingredient. It's good old Worcestershire sauce. Absolutely love Worcestershire sauce. Any brand will do. And uh, so now we're going to put together the meat. So you just slice open the your package of hamburger, if you use a chub or a family pack or whichever one you choose, have a big bowl ready. Plop it right in there. Same with the second. Now I'm feeding for a uh, large production crew so I'm using 10 pounds okay once you have the meat done go ahead and wash your hands and then I would add probably well for five pounds I'd add about oh two to three tablespoons so I'm gonna add a little bit more because it's 10 pounds it just adds a really unique flavor to it and then you just go ahead and you mix that all in you want to break down the fibers of the beef so that the patties will stick together better. You want to go from the bottom, pull it up. Make sure it all gets in there. And again, you can put any flavoring. Some people put Lipton onion soup. Some people put egg and breadcrumb and make it more like a uh, actual meatloaf. And then form the patties from there. Anything can, anything can work. And then when you get the meat all nice and done, there you go. You set it off to the side. And now we're going to form the patties. We've already mixed the meat with the Worcestershire sauce, give it a little extra flavor. You can add spices and seasonings to it while you're mixing it. Mixing it personally, I like to do it uh, when I put it onto the grill. So first thing we're going to do is take some saran wrap and. Uh, we're going to lay it flat, sort of like when we're pounding chicken. And then you take a nice palm of meat. This will make a nice sized burger. Want to work it. Make it into a nice, nice patty. It doesn't have to be too thick. Because remember, you're going to be putting another one on top of this. So 
spread it out nice and thin. Make it as round as you can. Cheese in the middle. A little bit of bacon. All righty, then you take another handful of meat. Form it into another patty. Form it into a nice round form. Move it over to the edge. Put your plastic wrap over it. Take a nice flat surface and press. And that is a stuffed burger. And you just keep doing it till you're done. All right, now we're gonna take them outside and grill. We're out here at the grill and uh, I'm preheating my grill now. I'm setting it on a medium to medium high. You don't wanna cook them too fast, but then you don't wanna cook them too slow because you want that nice caramelization on the, on the burger. So I'm preheating the grill, and then as soon as it's up to temp, we'll be right back with the actual grilling. Alrighty. Our grill is nice and hot now, and now it's time to put on the burgers. Oh, nice sizzle. So once you get them on, you don't really want to mess with them too much. You want to just sort of leave them where they're at and uh, let them start to uh, gather their form as they heat up the meat will shrink. All right, now I use Italian seasoning and garlic on just about everything. It tastes really good. And what I like to do is I like to just press them down a little bit. You don't want to press too much because then you'll... Uh, It'll dry them out, but this just sort of helps to seal those edges again. All right, burgers are grilling, so now we're going to go ahead and take care of our toasted buns. <laughs> we have just some bagel thins. These are a new product again. I'm into trying new products. Take a little butter. Butter it lightly. Set it down top. All right, so you just put the butter on light. Do the same for the bottom. All righty. And while those are grilling, I'm going to go ahead and check on my burgers. All right, now we're ready to flip. It's almost done. Look at them beauties. Look at them beauties. Alrighty. A few more minutes on this side and then they'll be done. Alright, burgers are ready to come off. Don't they look scrunchy anxious? So now our burgers are complete. And we have the burgers right here. We have the toasted buns. We have tomato and onion. Cheese and bacon are already in, if you remember. And so that's our recipe for today. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to email us at chef at chefingtv.com. We would love to hear from you and let me know what you think about the program, any suggestions on recipes. We'd be more than happy to make them for you. Y'all have a great day now.